A hearing wrapped up just about an hour ago, and the suspect in this case was ordered held on $50,000 bail, but she was already on probation for another case out of Stoughton, so if she does make bail, she'll have to immediately report to court in Stoughton. Now, her name is Daniel Mastro. She's from Pembroke. She listened as the judge read, judge read the charges against her this morning, including vehicular homicide, leaving the scene of an accident, and driving without a license. She was driving her mother's Audi yesterday afternoon in Brockton, where police say she rear-ended another car and then sent that car flying into a dump truck. The woman driving the car that was rear-ended was thrown onto the street and died from her injuries. According to court documents, Mastro later told investigators she was texting her drug dealer at the time of the crash and that she was, quote, dope sick. The district attorney says Mastro was addicted to heroin. When you think of an individual who chooses to go forward and is so concerned about themselves for their, they can call it their addiction or whatever, but the problem is, is that they put their needs first ahead of public safety. That's why people like this who don't have licenses and are going to get in a vehicle and drive that far across the, the, the county to get their drugs are dangerous people. Relatives and friends of the woman who died left the court very emotional following today's hearing. Deborah Combra was 58 years old and she was from Bridgewater. The DA says a police officer in nearby Hanson had pulled the suspect's car over earlier, about 15 minutes earlier, for some sort of traffic violation. But he says she sped off and the officer chose not to pursue. Live in Brockton, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5. David,